wonders they say shall never end. Can you imagine? <laughs> yeah, we've been talking about this whole thing. We thought maybe it was a joke. A former chairman, Labour Party in Anambra, Jude is the one for as emerged the factional presidential candidate of the party for 2023 elections. They just want to spoil things for themselves. Can you even win? Who even know Labour Party in the first place? Mr. Eze Wanfo is so aspirant image through affirmation during the faction's primary head in Abuja on Wednesday. Addressing the national delegates after his emergence, Mr. Eze Wanfo said, I am on a rescue mission to free Nigeria from where now? From social, economic and political crisis currently bedeviling it. He said, having understand, understood two former governors in Anambra State and being the chairman of the party in the state, he had what it takes to lead the country to economic freedom. He also said he had a brighter chance of defeating the presidential candidates of other political parties, being a young man with energy and vigor. Who oh, know you? No, I've never even heard of you before. So do many people. He said that with the level of insecurity in the country, all of them are just reading the same rhetorics. When they begin to talk like this, you know that they have nothing to offer. He's talking about uh, insecurity and the rest of uh, what is bedeviling Nigeria. Nigeria needs to be rescued. Labour is leading a revolutionary cause. Labour Party will win the general election. Our party is going to take over Nigeria and bring back the glory Nigeria needs. I have been in the corridors of government for the past 20 years. We are here in, on a rescue mission. He said, the news agency of Nigeria reports that Mr. Zewanfo was a former senior special assistant to former Willie Obiano of Anambra State and served under former governor Peter Obi for four months. Earlier, acting national chairman of the Labour Party, Kalistos Okafor described the candidate as a man of integrity, having made all the requirements of the party. We hereby affirm you to be the presidential candidate of the Labour Party come 2023. Mr. Oka, for while speaking on the candidacy of Mr. Obi, said, I am not against you. My doors are open. I am fighting for what is my right. Eh? I am not fighting my brother. Those who think I'm being used should have a rethink. He said, like, seriously? Like, seriously? Congratulations to all of you. Like, seriously? Who has ever heard about you? Now, because Obi is coming into this, and that's why you're not doing tika 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 tika. I thought uh, this man stepped down for him. What's this man's name? Pato Tommy, Professor Pato Tommy, stepped down for Peter Obi. So, where are you coming from? Where are you coming from? Of course, you could see that uh, <coughs> those who are afraid of uh, Peter Obi are the ones behind all these things. The same thing they did, uh, this man, what's his name? Amechi did in River State when he went to go and form a own party. So that they will combat with a PDP. By the end of the day, with all the stress and all the tactics, he couldn't even win. And that one, they use AAC. Then, see this uh, unpopular party. We are even trying to give prestige small. Don't grow wings already. Perhaps this is being sponsored by PDP or APC. This is policy, so you should expect anything. Obviously, they knew that Peter will be with definitely pull some votes from southern Nigeria to his side, so they are doing everything possible to frustrate him. The day Obi joined that party, I know this political ambition, his political ambition will begin to die gradually. What is gradually? See, forget all this political ambition that you are talking about. We are talking about somebody who have, who has in, who have integrity, who has integrity. Forget all this, whether it's structures or no structure. What are you saying? So he would have been in PDP, then everything would just die. We saw the people who are buying, using dollars to buy delegates and aspirants. Is that what uh, you call a uh, political distance? So Tinubu now is political. <clears throat> all, you don't, all of you don't even know what awaits you in front. With all this attitude and mindset, they still have a long way to go in becoming president. I don't know. Becoming president, is that your own matter? Or how your life is going to be better? Or how Nigeria is going to have uh, that integrity or the glory of Nigeria. You are talking about all those people who have looted Nigeria right from time immemorial. You are now telling us that uh, those are the people that you think uh, it will because they are having that presidency that they've gotten. How has it bettered the life of 
an average Nigeria, or how has he brought glory to the to Nigeria itself? Apart from those who are at the corridors of power, we always talk about a uh, uh, this. Some people do not get a uh, they don't have a uh, this. They don't have this. They don't know how to play policies. Play policies. You play policies. At the end of the day, you think uh, the victory that uh, Tinubu just secured is a genuine victory. Hmm. Oh, maybe hundred years from now, after they have change their attitude which attitude you that you are you have that attitude your people that have been at the helm of affair all this while how have they changed the nigeria for the better can you imagine because to me you're not saying anything hmm, very sad with this attitude <laughs> they will never rule this country in fact i will vote for article i'm not ready for this nonsense hmm, they will now never vote this Vote now. No, the worry that you people vote there for. You go and vote for Atiku now. What is Atiku going to do for you? I don't understand. What about Toshibaju and Tinubu? Had they not a uh, same Yoruba contesting for same position? Foolish comment from foolish uh, people. Honestly, that is your personal opinion. That is it. There's nothing Igbo man do that other two tribes are not doing. The truth is that Aousa and Yoruba had sworn that never should Igbo man allow to be president and that is why the country will not move forward they have been ruling this country and yet the country is in a bad shape they should be ashamed of themselves the so-called Yoruban and the Aousa or whatever they call themselves they should be ashamed of themselves those who are because it's not even some of the uh, uh, citizens who are really very 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 smart and very responsible we are talking about uh, those looters they should be ashamed of, uh, ashamed of themselves how far have they ruled this Nigeria where is the Nigeria today now what have they ruled out? This is uh, this uh, this how they decided to disgrace Peter B. It is well. I hope Mr. B's decision to have left PDP for Labour Party has not become too impulsive. Policies like issue have known is always filled with drama, intrigues, deception, money, smartness, and anticipation. These happenings in in his new party are orchestrated by the same people that scared him away from PDP. In fact, he should not have left but stayed to test his level of resilience and he would have come stronger than expected. How? I don't understand. How? Well, he's not... Yes, that's... He's, he's not desperate. There's no problem. If they don't want him, let, him, let this one go and wait for labor. Let him go and wait for labor. At the end of the day, those who are pushing him, they will give him money and they will put him aside. He has said... He said he's not desperate. So, <laughs> I don't think... Uh, People really understand the, how 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 firm he is with that statement. People shouting obedience don't even understand policies at all. Next thing for Atiku and uh, Atiku is to fund this guy's faction to knock Peter Obi out of the race. Obi should have stayed in PDP to do what now? You people, do you people really have sense to do what now? See yourself, second class citizen, to do what in that place? Okay now, see we can now. They all of them they they have forgotten. So the same thing would have happened, but it's better that he, he, he removed himself from all this uh, dollar spending and money spending and all this corruption because what he brought about Atiku is about corruption. What he brought about Tidumbu is about corruption. And they are the first on the list. There are other ones who are already corrupt as well. They took second and third position. Don't be swayed by media propaganda. All you need to do is ask some basic questions. Where are the picture evidences? Who were the party representatives from different states? Hmm, okay. Igbo with betrayer. Who should be Igbo with betrayer? They will tell you that Ushibaju uh, uh, betrayed uh, Tinumbu. Tinumbu betrayed. Everybody that's betrayed. That's God betrayer. It comes from somewhere and it has always been. Who know you? Don't be enemy of progress. I don't even understand. Igbo don't love themselves. Mm -hmm. Something is wrong with uh, Igbo and Politica in Nigeria. Policies in Nigeria. INE cannot monitor two primaries from one party. They already, they already were uh, present. They were already present in the day Obi was elected. This guy is wasting his time. So is the third presidential candidate of Labour Party. He just wants to frustrate Peter Obi. The biggest enemy of an Igbo man is an Igbo man. They retire civil servants at HCC for brain redundancy, but politicians carry on till they die. Are they immune to the same redundancy? We need to stop politicians from playing with our destinies. So guys, let's say your opinion. I never have your take on this. It's so annoying.